And most importantly, if you are interested in seeing like change to the gaming world, then Operation Harsh Door Stop is for you. If you are interested in seeing a game like you can be in World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, the Cold War, and the modern era, then Operation Harsh Doorstep is once again good for you. Honestly, these games have so many checkboxes for an ordinary gamer, and that this is actually incredible. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Napoleon Total, and today we're back with a new game that has been on my radar for some time. That game is obviously going to be Operation Harsh Doorstop. This game is set in some of the most iconic wars, including World War I, World War II, Vietnam, and the Cold War in the modern era. Another cool thing about Operation Harsh Doorstop, or OHD, is that it's completely free. Yes, you're going to be getting an all-encompassing first-person shooter game that is completely free, and as of right now, the game is only in alpha, meaning that you do only have single-player with bots, but I am very hyped up for this game. And what makes it better is that if you want to play multiplayer, all you have to do is support Operation Harsh Door Stops Patreon, which, let's be honest, I'm, I'm not going to do because I'm poor. Um, but what makes this game so great is the measure or, or the message of the game. Operation Harsh Door Stop was made by Drake King Labs and is created by the YouTuber Blue Drake. The YouTuber and now game designer was originally fed up with the gaming market domin dominated by AAA companies who wanted your money. Therefore, he decided to go on a crusade not only to liberate the Holy Land, but from liberating us from the cash-grabbing capitalists of the gaming industry. In other words, he's making a company that gives everything for free. Well, some games. This game, it is for free. Operation Horse Store Stop is entirely funded by the community, and this game right now is only paid for multiplayer but when the game is going to be fully released it's going to be completely free. Personally I have been in contact with the developers so if you say this game is not community funded it is not true. The developers are very nice and I, you can you, you can literally talk to them anytime that you want. They are very transparent about their motives and they really want to help out the community. With this fact uh, Blue Drake is already being called the Elon Musk of the gaming industry really a lot of people have been doing that, and that just goes to show you how passionate he is. And that passion is not only limited to the, the developers, but also to the community. Personally, I really like the message that these guys are spreading, the idea that we should have a free game that does not bring frustration to the average gamer, and one that is community driven. This is why I'm making this video, and that is why I highly recommend this game. And if you thought this game is already a dream come true, there's still more. Operation Harsh Door Stop is completely compatible with mods, and actually, as a matter of fact, these people actually support the mods. The, develop the developers actually support you guys getting mods. In other words, mods like Black Hawk Down, Star Wars, and even Halo mods have already been implemented. In other words, ODH is modded by community and essentially whatever you want, you can have. Now with that message over and the basic functions of the game already covered, let's move on to what the game has to offer. Operation Harsh Door Stop is a strategy and first person shooter game. A good comparison is Squad, where you are a soldier but you are one of many people who have to follow their strategic plan against other players and in a massive player versus player battle. Obviously, with multiplayer not 100% out and running, this game is not yet at this stage, but with time, that can obviously change. As of right now, there are a lot of different weapons in game uh, from different time periods, ranging from car 98s to M16s. Needless to say, this game is already good looking. However, even with the best aspects of life, you can even have some problems, and Operation Harsh Door Stop is no exception. For starters, Operation Harsh Door Stop has a lot of bugs. One of them is here, yeah, look how the Glock literally has the magazine right in your face and not in the gun. After you fire, the magazine disappears. Another aspect of the game I don't really like is the factions. All major factions are from World War I to the modern era have the United States. You have a lot of other factions fighting against them, but every time the United States is one of the factions. Honestly, I do like to see other factions being added as of right and as of right now the developers are working on that. So another issue that I have are the bots which literally look like human zombies. They have no expression they but they carry a gun that can shoot you from any range no matter if you're holding a sniper rifle or an SMG. That said this issue is already being looked into as I speak. Another issue as of right now is that we don't have any customization or vehicles. This once again is being fixed and as, as you can tell like every time I address an issue they're already being fixed and these issues 
issues are not addressed by me but by the community and that just really tells you once again this is community driven in the sense that all you have to do like is to report an issue on their discord which is going to be in the link down below and the developers will try their best to fix it therefore in conclusion i really do believe that you should get operation car store stop it is currently free so you it doesn't cost you anything and most importantly if you are interested in seeing like change to the gaming world then operation car store stop is for you if you're interested in seeing a game like you can be in world war one world war two vietnam the cold war and the modern era then operation car store step is once again good for you Honestly, these games have so many checkboxes for an ordinary gamer that this is actually incredible. I personally am interested to see what happens to this project and I am personally invested into it. That's it, I believe this video is more than enough for an intro. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and join my Discord. Have a great day guys and I'll see you in the next one. Now before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I will be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out, so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.